Hello everyone, my name is Pierce, but I also go by Ekpath on the internet. I am an artist from Seattle, Washington. However, you might notice that I'm not in rainy Seattle right now. I'm actually in Arizona. I don't really have any of my filmmaking gear with me. I kind of just have my phone right there. So the quality on this video is going to be a little bit lower, unfortunately, but it will be back to normal next week. But I think that's okay because this video is kind of unique in that we're painting a meme. Now the specific meme we're painting is known as Hector. It's right here. I think it's pretty cool. The story behind it is someone one night when they were drunk took a picture of their dog and were surprised to find that the picture turned out to look like a Renaissance painting. And I'm not gonna lie, it kinda does. Kinda with like the pinkish orange hue and then the dark brown hue in the background with some of the green. I was surprised. And being around the Christmas season, I always need gifts to give people and paintings are always nice gifts to give and I thought it would be funny to give a gift of a meme. So we painted a meme today. If you want to take out your sketchbook, sketch along with me while I paint this, feel free to. But without further ado, let's get started painting Hector. All right, we're going to start out with just a simple pencil sketch in order to get the proportions correctly. Unfortunately, I did not get the proportions as correct as I wanted to get them. I ended up making him a little bit squatter than he actually is. And the overall balance of the painting, I think, is a little off, too. Also, I did not expect recording this entire video on my phone to be as hard as it was. Like, even right now, I'm using my phone to record this audio, and I usually use a mic that's directly attached to my computer. But what I have to do right now is I have to switch back between my computer and my phone. It's just a hassle. So I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to going back so I can use my old equipment, get some good videos to you guys. I was kind of surprised at the shape of Hector. He's kind of just like an oval with folds. I thought it was kind of amazing. And his face is probably the most detailed part. I spent the most amount of time on his face. You can see I'm already detailing little parts of it here and there, but also, also, you see I'm mixing this orange right now to get this, this shadow. The problem with memes is they're digital, right? And the thing with digital is digital looks different on different screens. So on the screen you're watching this video on, the picture of Hector might show these folds as kind of pinkish. Whereas on my phone screen, it showed them kind of as a light orangish. And then on my iPad screen, it showed them kind of as a magenta. This is the problem I think with digital artwork is because depending on the screen you have, colors are gonna look different. That made it kind of difficult for me to switch colors because I was using my phone for some parts of this to see what colors I needed. Then I was using my iPad for some of it. And then also using my computer and each one was showing different colors. So yeah, kind of a, kind of, the, it's like the golden dress and the blue dress back in like 2013. That was a long time ago. Something funny is that I just took an entire class on color in university and I am still so confused about how color works and color's complicated. I don't I don't want to get into that right now. But as you can see, I am currently trying to make the blanket, which was also difficult because it looked green in some of my pictures I had of Hector and then it looked brown in others. So I just you'll see me flow with it. I come up with a different sort of picture. I find it interesting that a lot of times as an artist, I kind of just float with whatever is working best. Like I look at my painting and my reference and my painting is so far gone from my reference that I just start going with what looks good and it might not be anatomically correct. It might not, it might not be correct in terms of color, but I find that when I get to a certain point, I'm able to see what the heck I'm doing and go from there. I feel like that is something that I've gained more recently through practice, which makes me really happy because about a year ago, I probably wouldn't have been able to do that. Whereas now I can more easily see where my end product is. And I feel like that's something that comes with practice a lot too. Like you have to practice in order to get a good eye at this sort of thing. Like with the green on the background, I wouldn't have seen that. I don't think unless if I looked at my painting, looked at my picture and realized, oh, 
there is green, but it's not that visible. I'm gonna make it more green in my painting. And it added a really nice effect being a slight complementary to red and orange. It, it made it balance out, I think, a little bit more rather than just being all warm colors. And I think with that also, with that ability to see my end product more often, I'm beginning to feel more confident as an artist. In my last video, I talked a lot about how I have doubts as an artist, and I, I don't think that's limited to just me. I, I know a lot of other people who have doubts as artists, but through practice and through developing my skills, I'm, I'm beginning to feel more confident in my ability and my future in being able to create good art that is inspiring and meaningful. And I know painting a meme isn't the most inspiring theme, inspiring thing, but if it makes someone smile, if it makes someone's day, even if it is not maybe the best piece of art, but it's able to do those things, I feel like my goal as an artist has been met. Because when I think about why I do art, what it comes down to is making beautiful things that get at the core of what it means to be human and get at the core of inspiring people to live their lives to their fullest. I'm still discovering what I'm supposed to do with my life. I mean, I'm only 19. I'm a university student. But I feel like right now my goal for the future is to be intentional about how I live my life and try and put others before me and inspire them and encourage them to live their lives positively. Of course, I'm still trying to figure out how to do that. I'm still just a college student <laughs> painting memes, but heck, if, if you can gain anything from this video, I feel like one thing to gain is go do something awesome. Go do something that makes yourself happy and proud and something that helps others around you. I know painting a meme isn't necessarily the most helpful thing, but for me, I feel like memes are definitely a way to inspect our culture and like see the way it works, especially from the inside, especially if you understand meme culture. And being able to put a part of myself into that by painting it, I think is also really important. But again, I'm still trying to figure all this out myself. I still have no idea what I'm doing with my life, where I'm going. I mean, I'm doing YouTube right now, but heck, who knows? Maybe in a couple of years I'll be big on YouTube. Maybe I will just quit and not be a big thing at all. Hopefully this continues. I really enjoy making videos. I really enjoy interacting with the community on here and having a community of artists that I can rely upon for creative ideas and inspiration and tips and it's really nice to have those of you who watch my videos interact with me. I realized I've barely talked about my painting at all too and I'm like getting close to done. Um, you see I'm putting in the floor, I've got these nice kind of magenta and green and red hues. I honestly don't even know how this painting came to be. It, it like was painted over the course of a couple of days. I stopped and went. It took about three hours in total. I just, I got really frustrated a lot. I feel like that's something I'm still trying to overcome as an artist too, is trying to overcome the frustration that comes with not being able to paint something or understand a certain concept within painting or drawing or sketching or digital artwork even. It's really easy for me personally to get frustrated, especially when I have an idea in my head that I can't get out, no matter how much I practice and no, how, no matter how much I try to paint it. Again, what my professors tell me, what my teachers tell me, that comes with practice. I will probably eventually be able to do that, hopefully. But as of right now, I feel like I'm still kind of fumbling through my motor skills trying to paint the thing that's in my head. This is a little easier because I have a reference, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll find that I have quite a lot of digital artwork and drawings in that I don't have any reference and I'm coming up with it all from my head. And a lot of times it's not the most accurate anatomical composition and it's not the most beautiful composition. And like I said, I struggle a little bit with getting my ideas out of my head and I'm 
I'm working on it. It's just there's a lot of frustration associated with that. It's artistic frustration of not being able to create what I want to create, not having the skills to create what I want to create, not having the capacity to create what I want to create. And again, that's also one of the big reasons I make these videos is to kind of document my progress and process in becoming a better artist while hopefully inspiring other people along the way to continue pursuing what they want to pursue and enhancing the skills that they want to enhance and sticking with it, especially when it does get frustrating and difficult. So I would encourage you after this video, maybe take a break from the internet, maybe take out a sketchbook or something else that you're practicing and practice for a while, like an hour or two, just put in the work, put in the intentional work that it takes to get better. Anyways, we are getting close to finished here. We're gonna have some nice B-roll from my iPhone, not as nice as from my camera. But again, I would encourage you, go all in, practice a little bit after this. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Um, it's kind of fun painting a meme, not gonna lie. So maybe I'll paint more memes in the future, just for the fun of it. But expect higher quality videos next week. If you wanna leave a comment telling me any tips or tricks, I'm always ready to learn more things. I just need tips and stuff, so. Let me know what I can improve on. I hope you have a great day. Peace.